In this uh, screencast we're going to look at the principle of the AC motor uh, and in particular we're going to look at the rotating magnetic field. So if I have a stator of a motor and if I put some windings around it and I apply a phase okay, so let's say it has a phase like that uh, during the positive half cycles and that's uh, this area here well the current is going to flow in around to the windings around around to these windings so on the positive half cycle using the right hand rule we'll get a north pole there and a south pole there so the flux lines will be in that direction therefore on the negative half cycle the current will be flowing in the opposite direction so the north pole will now be down here and the south pole will be there and the flux lines will be in that direction okay now let's say we put in windings on uh, these poles and I apply a phase uh, such as that again on the positive half cycle so this area here uh, using the right hand rule current will flow in through here I'll get a north pole here and a south pole there so the flux lines will be in this direction and on the negative half cycle current will flow in the opposite direction so the north pole will be here and the south pole will be there and the flux lines will be in that direction so what happens when I combine the two phases okay so let's say we have phase 1 and phase 2 they're 90 degrees apart and the poles are 90 degrees apart there's uh, phase 1 purple and phase 2 here in red and let's look at specific times so going to look at point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 8 and the cycle repeats itself here again so we're back to 1. At time 1 we can see that the voltage in phase 2 here is 0 therefore the current is 0 so there is no current flowing through these windings therefore there is no magnetic field uh, across these poles. In phase 1 the voltage is at a maximum maximum and therefore the current is also at a maximum so the magnetic field will be in this direction okay now in term 2 phase 1 is still in the positive half cycle and phase 2 is also now in a positive half cycle so there's current flowing through these windings it's going to give me a magnetic field in that direction and there's current flowing in these windings and that's going to give me a magnetic field in that direction but flux lines can't cross so uh, we will have to find an intermediary position so this side is both north this side is both south so an intermediary position will be somewhere around here there so that's where the magnetic field is in point 2. In point 3, uh, now there is no current. This is at 0, so there's no current going through these windings here. The current through phase 2 is at its maximum, so we will have a magnetic field in that direction. In time 4, this is still positive, but this has now gone negative therefore the current is flowing in on this winding so the north pole is now here for this um, this phase and on the phase 2 the north is still there okay, so the flux lines run in this direction again the flux lines can't cross so we'll take up an intermediate position which is somewhere there so our north pole is moved from there to here to here and now in that direction. At time 5, this point, the current through phase 2 is 0 and the current through phase 1 is at a maximum in the opposite direction. So we'll have a north pole here and a south pole there. That's our flux lines. At time 6, the phase 2 voltage is now negative so the magnetic field is going to be reversed and 
phase one is still negative so what we will have is the flux lines north south here due to phase one and on phase two they will now be going in this direction this direction here north south so flux lines can cross so we take up an intermediate position at time seven uh, the current through phase one uh, will be zero so no flux lines in this direction uh, through phase two it will be at a maximum uh, but in the opposite direction so our flux lines are going to run in this direction and then finally in point eight this has gone positive again so the north pole has now moved up here uh, this is still negative so the north pole is here the flux lines can't cross so we take up an intermediary position which is there so that brings us back to point one where there's zero current in phase two and it's a maximum in phase one so if we look at how this north pole has moved phase one part position one is there position two there position three position four position five six seven eight and back to one so we see it's rotating around the stators and that's how you generate a rotating magnetic field so that's what we have now this is the principle of AC motors. We have a rotating magnetic field. If I stick a magnet in there, well, what's the magnet want, wanting to do? Well, the magnet will want to follow the rotating magnetic field. And that, that is the basic principle of uh, an AC motor. Now, how do we get this magnet? Well, uh, we can use an electromagnet. So we put a DC supply across some uh, windings and the electromagnet will then follow it and we call that a synchronous motor or if we use the rotating magnetic field to induce a current and therefore a magnetic field uh, in the rotor uh, we we'll call that an induction motor and that is the basic principle of the AC motor uh, I'd appreciate any of your comments. Thank you.